What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Raising Canes, I love Raising Canes because, well, it's the best chicken fingers in the game. Period. End of the discussion. Anyone who says otherwise is not telling the truth. Cold weather, all I want to do is warm up inside with some hot, fresh chicken fingers with Canes. That may not be in Miami. Uh, I love that I don't have to get in my car. Also not Miami. Move to Miami, get warm weather. I am going to Chicago tomorrow, so I'll feel this. Um, also, you have to see their seriously adorable holiday plush puppies. So freaking cute. Go get one of your friends and family uh, for yourself like I am. You can buy them at Canes. Any Canes are online. Tis the finger for raising Canes chicken fingers. Satisfy your Canes fix today. No other option. They are the best chicken fingers. Warm weather, cold weather, holidays, Canes. Uh, BFF, December 6th. We, Josh and Josh Richards and I were just talking. Mm. So Brianna is in Australia. Yeah. And I'm stranded in a hotel. I'm a nomad currently. But um, so Brianna went to Australia. She didn't tell anybody that she wasn't doing BFFs really till like five seconds ago. So like, don't worry. I booked a guest. Nobody knew the guest. <laughs> Josh Peck, welcome. And before you sat down, I was talking to Josh and I'm like, what if we didn't fucking want Josh Peck? That's fair. <laughs> like, how did this even come about? I don't know. Brianna just texted me, and she was like, the boys would love to have you. And now when? it's clear that it was pretty uh, indecisive, uh, like uh, two days ago. <laughs> she told you before she told us. And she, she posed it as a surprise, but it's okay. seeming like not like she one of those. Also, I, like, I like you, Josh. Nice guy. Like, I, the way it was posed to me, I thought it was going to be like Taylor Swift or Beyonce. It's like I have, like, this huge fucking guest. I had no idea. I didn't even know it was like I saw your name on the picture on the sheet like 20 minutes ago. What the fuck's hmm. Brianna doing? Like, I welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm not trying to downplay you being here. But what the fuck's Brianna doing? Dave, Taylor Swift coming to the Valley at 1030 on a Tuesday. I don't think so. I didn't know if it was going to be heck? remote. It's available. <laughs> I want to. What, how, what number do you think you were on the list? Oh, Christ. I don't know. You, you think it, you were like one or like 38? Certainly not one. I would say within, you know, between 10 and 20. What time is it in Australia? How, how, would, how would I know that? I'm going to text her right now. Be like, what? Well, Josh Peck is here. Thanks for telling us. It's what, 5.43 what number it? a.m. It looks like. Yeah, so she won't be asleep. Oh, what uh, Australia is big, so it could be also 9.40. She could be in Perth. Yeah. What? How many people did you – What? I don't know how to say it. How many people did you ask before Josh Peck, or was he one? How many people – I'm so Dude. happy to be here. Yeah, this is a great <laughs> welcoming, isn't it? Aren't you curious? Am I curious? I my therapist has worked with me to not be curious about these things. Otherwise, I would be be besieged How about this? by I'll self say, doubt. I'll say you're one, no matter what. But I'll know the truth on the phone. No, because I'll see it in your eyes. <laughs> you, you She's gotta, not going to answer. You got to give it away. You got a bad poker face, Portnoy. How many people did you ask before Josh Peck? The way it came about, honest. too, based on what she said, was like Josh asked her to be on his pod, and instead she's like, come on my pod, but I won't be there. What? I did ask her to be on my pod. But is that how it... Dave, you're not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it happened? Did it go her asking you to come, or you asking her to come on, and then she was like, nah, instead come on the BFS podcast without me there. It was a bit of a random text. We had we had chatted about it, and then it was just one of those, we'll find a day when we're both on the same coast. But um, mm. Well, no matter what, Dave. We're glad to have you. I'm glad to have you. I'm, I'm glad, glad to, glad to, to be, be here. People yeah. No, I'm glad to have you. I'm just, I'm just generally like we communicate as a group a little bit better. Like I still probably, even if it was Taylor Swift, I'd be like, how long did you know you were doing this for? Um, so anyways, Josh Peck is here. Uh, he has, as he aforementioned there, the Good Guys podcast with mm -hmm. Ben Sofer. Sofer, yes. Who is that? He's uh, he's boy with no job. His wife, Claudia yes. Ashri, is girl with no job. Uh, massive, massive podcast, a toast. And uh, I know he, who he is. It just didn't ring a bell originally. Much, much like um, maybe you identify with Dave, me and Ben were just like, old Jewish men in younger-ish bodies. And so we kvetch, we bitch for 45 gotcha. minutes. 
I don't know if I, I don't know if I, I mean, I definitely bitch. So I, I guess I get that. And Josh, you've been on the good guys podcast. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I beat Bree to it. Um, <laughs> I was, I was Thank asked you. before Bree, I guess, you know, um, but it seems like they have their priorities straight over there. So it's good. It's good. Yeah. I remember that's when you said how I died, right? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. What from congenital heart failure from an overdose of pizza? Well, I don't know what he said. I what think that was said? that was along the lines. I believe it was it was like a posed question, right? Like who would die first? We have it. I don't know. Die soon? Let's see it. You see pictures of Dave handing out newspapers to people in the streets, right? Like that's what it was. Started off with a compliment, by the way. <laughs> media empire. I, I just think it's insanely impressive, and like that's what makes me look up to Dave. What's the over under of when Dave has a massive heart attack? Hmm. Pizza every day. He's asking for it. He did yeah, a that... challenge where he lived off it for like a month. I think that was mm. the only thing he ate. Yeah, he loves it, and he's not like a big workout guy or anything, right? No, yeah. no, he's not a big workout guy. <laughs> I'm a he's bad shoulder. A workout guy. I'm I'll so put him in touch with a cardiologist. Okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. No problem. Yeah, could you do that for me? Yeah, I'm 36. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of the He's game. He's like my BFF, you know? See? I, I, I wanted you I to live longer. No, you were good, Josh. Yeah. You were good. I have a bad shoulder. That's why I can't work out. For real. I'd also like to address something. You two don't have to say it. I'm not clipping it, but you brought it up on um on the thing about handing out newspapers. And I'm assuming this is not on the sheet because we don't want to go into this controversy that's still going on uh, when... I, I'll say me because I, I can do it. That girl who was crying about like how tough her life is. And I guess people are like freaking out online, Austin. Is that what, is this, a, isn't this in our world, like a big story? They've been, our comments have probably been flooded since you guys did that thing. Basically with all nine to five people being like, these are out of touch influencers that have no idea what they're talking about, blah, blah, blah. So I will speak for myself, not Josh, not Brianna. These fucking losers have to shut the fuck up. No, all these people are complaining, roll them up into a fucking ball. And they haven't worked probably one one millionth as many hours as I did when I fucking started this company, taking literal shit out of news racks. I'm talking not like, oh, there's crap in there. I'm talking the stuff that comes out of somebody's ass in my news racks, pulling it out with the goo gone, shaving fucking graffiti off the things, working literally every fucking waking day in my Astro van, starting this paper from scratch, handing these fucking newspapers out on the side of a street. And before that, I had a nine to five job where they threw a fucking phone book in front of me and told me just to start cold calling people to get them by software. So these people, yeah, you fucking work hard. Today's generation, it's like, oh, nine to five, no fucking shit. I sat in 95 on 128 for an hour and a half one way, worked from fucking nine to six cold calling people, drove an hour and a half fucking back and ate ramen fucking noodles. So shut the fuck up. You get what you work for. These young people, it's like, yeah, it fucking sucks. This country is built on hard work. Shut the fuck up. And Josh and Brianna worked fucking hard. So Thank shut you. the fuck up. And I don't know why we're relenting to these fucking losers on TikTok. You think we're going to let ourselves get pushed around by these fucking fragile little pussies? No fucking way. We're not putting on the sheet. Fuck those people. Fuck them. Okay, let's continue. The yep. headline here um, is you had an Astro van. I bought an Astro van for eighteen hundred bucks oh. off Craigslist because I couldn't fucking afford. I need something to carry my newspapers. So Barso is a newspaper. I would write the entire newspaper. I would then drive an hour and a half to go pick them up at the facility, load them into my fucking Astro van, into a forty-eight hour paper route myself filling all the news racks and putting the bars clubs throughout Boston, literally 48 hours. So when these you fucking people, they don't know hard work in their silver. Shut the fuck up. It's always about hard work. And yes, I've been very lucky along the way. Guess what? If Barstool failed, I go work hard at another job and be successful there. You get what you put in. This girl, oh, a nine to five. You're right out of college, you fucking pussy. What the fuck do you expect? 
When you get out of college, you work hard. Yeah, nine to five. It sucks. You have to commute an hour both ways. Everyone's fucking done it since the beginning of time. Suddenly on TikTok, you get fucking a GoFundMe. Shut the fuck up. When you bought the van, did you consider getting into kidnapping? There's no Hold way. on, food just came. Uh, by the way, I'm at the Four Seasons Surfside. These kids couldn't afford it. They're like the thing. <laughs> oh, that's nice. What's what, which order, Dave? Dang. That's what I care do, about. Do you know what we're even... Well, I should say Dave is even ranting about. I've... I've Did you I, see the video clip? The newest one I didn't, but I, I have seen this kind of theme of like people being upset that they can't Dude, find a job. It was, it was pretty much this girl who's complaining about her transit from taking the subway for like an hour. Then she works her nine to five, then an hour back. And she's like, I have no time to do anything else but my work. Like, this totally. is so unfair. Life is unfair, blah, blah, blah. And then we made a comment on it on a podcast. And we Not even like, that bad, to be honest. It wasn't even a bad comment. It was it was just like, well, yeah, it's life. You know, like sure. you got it. People work nine to fives. Like my parents work nine to five. My mom would be out of the house at like, five in the morning and wouldn't be back until like seven at night. Like my dad was up for school at seven and then he wouldn't be back till like four, you know, like people go and like work their nine to five. That's how people it sucks, but that's life. it sucks, but it's life. Like, and then we were like, yeah, that's, that's life. You just a young girl. She's out of college. Do your nine to five and don't complain about it. Yeah. And then we got ripped on. Cause it was like, you guys are all lucky. You didn't put in any work to what you did to be where you're at today. Like, so, you know, it's just a little bit, I think, of like uh, they 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 don't live in this world, so they don't understand it. So to them, it's like, oh, you made a post or whatever. We blew up. Yeah, a they're saying we're out of touch, delusional, because like we don't have to. We don't know how hard it is out there. Of course, it's fucking hard. It's always been fucking hard. It's always been hard. Like, I don't know what what you don't become like when you graduate college. Those are the grind years like that. You yeah. nobody steps it. Well, I guess a few people get like a dream lucky situation but yeah it, it i live like had half my roommates had no windows and we all were crammed in all the place doing commutes and it's like we couldn't afford anything I, that but that's not like a new thing and and then we got smushed and i'm awesome why it hasn't been on the sheets the last two days yeah, it was more just like, what are you gonna just keep saying the same thing each time? It's like, well, no, I had to fucking rip them. Like, I, yeah. it, and TikTok's like delusional. Like, they're they're how they perceive the world is delusional and and whatever. They'll prop. By the way, there'll be a billion things on that rant I just did, but it's all fucking true. Mm. But they only mm. see the the highlights too, right? Like they watch you, Dave, and they go, "Oh, he starts bar stool, sells it to Penn, buys it back for a dollar," and they miss like the years in between of the grind of the not cute shit, right? Right. Yeah. But yes, a hundred percent, and no doubt, it's like I've made a shit ton of money now. So the things that they're complaining about, I don't have to deal with. But that doesn't mean that I didn't deal with it for 15 years. Like I just, and, and I appreciate it. It makes me appreciate honestly everything I do now. And it's like when I, I do certain things, I certainly guess like, I can't believe I'm here. Like I, I couldn't afford a fucking hamburger when this thing started and I had to move to my in-laws house. And like, I, it, I get all that and makes me appreciate now, but I, people who complain about hard work, yeah, hard work is what that's how you get to where this is. And it, by the way, it doesn't guarantee it. I've been very lucky with a lot of things breaking the right way. But I do think for the most part, if you work your ass off, you can eventually get to a place where you don't have to work that as hard and have a comfortable living. If that's not true, that's that's unfortunate. But I do believe to a degree, if you work your dick off for like a decade, 15 years, eventually you'll start making more money and not have to work at that level. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't have as much room to speak on this conversation because, you know. Well, yeah, you two are, are, I see some people, I saw a whole thread. Some people are excusing me a little bit, but they're also saying I'm out of touch. I think there's more jealousy towards a you and a Brie because you yeah. guys are much younger. Yeah. Also, like, I, I never had to work at nine to five. You know, like, I decided to start doing social media when I was 13 years old. It's not like I never put in work into things. Like I was the kid that, you know, was doing like yard work for eight hours a day when he was 10 years old and 11 years old. And like, yeah, that's not the same as what these nine to fives are. I'm not saying that. But like, 
I always was someone that was trying to do work and find ways to make money. And I just started really young. And then I sacrificed having like a great high school to go and be the kid that was doing social media and getting picked on and made fun of all the time, you know, and kind of getting like ripped throughout high school. So my high school life was shit, but then it paid off because then I was able to go to LA at 17 and drop out of my senior year and start, you know, the, the management company I started and then go and be a part of Sway and start that with the boys, like get bigger on social media. So like, I just kind of like picked where I was going to have my fun. And I was like, I'm going to bet that the social media is going to work out and I'll have fun when I'm older with it instead of having fun right now in high school. Not saying, you know, I didn't get lucky as well. Of course, there's some luck that comes into it. But if everybody could be in the position that I'm in right now, then everybody would. Like, there's so many people that just do it. Like, if you're worried about your nine to five and you're saying, oh, but your life is eaten, then fucking try to have my life. Yeah, well, there's definitely, like we're all saying, there's an amount of luck. I think they're saying we can't do it, but like still complaining about it. And I'll I'll say this about Bree. And she won't say it for herself because I think Bree's going for, through from what I've gathered, like it, uh, a phase where people just like to fucking rip on her. Yeah, she's getting it yeah. more than any of the two. Bree, I, I, there's a, there's we had 450 people at our max at Barstool. Now we're about 325. She is one of the hardest workers we've had. Like, I love Bree because she works her fucking ass off. Like she, she doesn't take a fucking day off. She was doing that tour without asking for a, a ounce of help from somebody. She'd show up in a city, get out, go to fucking Walmart, buy all the supplies for her tour herself, go set the thing up, do the tour, and then get back on a plane, bus, whatever, do it the next day. I've seen a million people in 20 years through my company. She's like top 5% hard workers. So like, I don't, that people just mad online. Yep. The girl's mad online that she has a nine to five with an hour commute. That, by the way, is ninety nine point nine percent of the world. Yep. That's it in the U.S. So I don't know. And now the train has Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? So you can get a nice podcast going. I will say, Josh. Tell me. You don't know that. The you don't, Amtrak. You don't the when I used to take the Amtrak, I don't know if they've improved it. The Wi-Fi on there would make me want to put my head through a fucking window yeah. because it went in and out. And there's, I'd rather not have it than have in and out Wi-Fi. Then your expectations are like, yeah. Up. Then you're put right. down. You're buffering. Then you're uh, in a constant buffer. Cool. Yeah, I, I was, I was in Excel, uh, the the Boston to like New York in a sales territory. It used to be always on. Maybe they fixed it. Anyways, I don't even. How did I get on this? Because you, you, I love that you started this podcast with I don't like to kvetch or bitch, but <laughs> no, I said I did. I said yeah. I did. The, he mentioned You're... he mentioned the van in the clip. <laughs> Josh mentioned no, the, I, that it used I, to I, hand I, out newspapers. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. We went on a tangent. We went on a tangent. Okay. Yeah. All right. Rent app is teaming up with Barstool HQ to give one of our producers a free month of rent. Great, 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 great deal because our producers all live in squalor tune into the new york uh, city office-wide campaign led by kelly keys on barstool radio for all talent to pitch why their producer deserves free rent um paying rent something we all gotta do let's be honest it can sometimes be a bit of a hassle or if there's a way to make it all easier more straightforward or even beneficial for your financial future including the rent app the ultimate tool for renters everywhere. Rent app takes the hassle out of paying rent by depositing your payments directly into your landlord's bank account. No more trips to the ATM, no more mailing checks, no more managing balances, mobile apps. Get this, no fees, no weekly limits. Rent app is completely free for you to use. No need for your landlord to create an account, completely free for them too. The benefits don't stop there. Rent app is also about helping you build a brighter financial future. By optionally reporting your on-time rent payments to three major credit bureaus, Rent App brings you one step closer to home ownership and helps boost your credit score. It's a good idea. Very important credit. So why wait? Head to Rent App slash Barstool for 50 bucks off your first rent payment. Download the Rent App in the App Store today. We already, this is Josh, you're the host. We already had you on uh, BFFs last time. And we talked about Drake Bell. Drake Bell like start DMing me after that. I did see that. Yeah. I didn't really know what I, like, I don't really know him. So I, I just, I was like, I don't even, this isn't my fight. I don't remember what he said, but I do remember that. Um, is there anything else we got to talk? I, I don't really, do we have to go into any more of the, this seems like old news, right? You guys? I think so. Okay. You were in Oppenheim. That's I am. sick. 
It's super sick. sick, dude. Super. I saw the movie. I was in Hawaii, and I went to see the movie. You did great. You did wonderful. My man, thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's so cool to see. That's Let so me tell cool you, a see. genuine compliment from Josh Richards. It's nice. Being on this side of things wow. feels good. What about me? I like your shirt. <laughs> do you like it? Thank you. I do. I, I appreciate that. I um. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm in Oppenheimer, and it's uh, it's a crazy honor, and I think people bug out because they're like, how did you go from Drake and Josh to YouTube and podcasts, and now you're working with Chris Nolan? But how did that come out? Like, how'd you get that role? It's nothing. You know, it's very classic. Like, I worked really really hard but uh, sort of to your point dave of like the work that no one sees like five years ago i went back to acting class in all transparency because i was like i've had a certain amount of success but i realized that i must have bad habits like there's got to be just bad especially as a child actor you accrue all these things of like you want another one boss like you want it yeah. bigger funnier and faster because we all don't want to be like the kid who who uh proves a stereotype of like don't work with kids and dogs you know mm. and uh and so for five years i like literally put my ego aside and just got blasted at class every week being told like what my bad habits were and what what i needed to fix and and it was it was crushing and yet totally liberating because I yeah. knew that like if an opportunity like this came along, I'd be ready. And so, um, so was yeah, it yeah. the opportunity? Is it like your ages? Like, hey, go read for this, or yeah. do they reach out? Like, hey, this you may, we may have a part for you. What's cool about Christopher Nolan is is that I I truly believe that he just wants the right person for the role, right? So he sends out you know for the most part you get like a mass audition and. They're sides that are not from the movie because everything's being held under lock and key. So they're like mm. dummy sides. And you basically put yourself on on tape. And I remember I auditioned and I sent the tape out and I, I told my agent, listen, I think this is actually pretty good. I don't get movies like this. So this has been a fun exercise, but it's not bad. And uh, two weeks later, I got a text from her saying, Nolan saw your tape. He likes you. We're in the hunt. And wow. This is very what, cool. And I so told very this, cool. I, I mean, one of the movies of the year. Yeah. I told That's this great. to chicks in the office, but, and I know you're, you're no stranger to gambling, Dave, but like as an actor, like we're gambling addicts because it's mostly losses. Mm, it's right. like nine out of 10 times you're crushed. And yet you keep the hope alive for that one time when, you know, you were, I don't know, rolling sevens all night. I don't gamble. I'm too frugal. But well, what's the, you got to <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to be. I, you, you actually do not want to be rolling sevens. Because you crap out? Yeah, it's a crap out. Did you just uh, bet a million dollars? I'm going to on Michigan. So I'm to Michigan win it all? Rat. To win it all? What? You're going to bet on Michigan to win it all? No, just to beat Alabama. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's the what's it's the like, spread? Oh, they're a one point favorite. Everyone's like Alabama this, Alabama that. I'm not fucking scared of Alabama. Uh, we're going to Rose Bowl. We're favored. Everyone. Uh, so I'm. I think we're much better than Alabama. I think their quarterback can't throw. Um, and so I, I I think Michigan's very good. So I am. I'm going to bet a million on. Okay. It. So like it. uh, the civilians. Uh, I I represent the civilians. We have to ask now. You can't bet on credit. Right. So is this, do you Correct. call your banker and say, I'm going to need to put in a wire for a million? Tell me the setup to. to yeah. Make. So sports gambling is legal now in like, I don't know, 15, 18, 20 states, whatever it is. So as long as you're in a legal state, correct, you'd wire a million bucks into, you know, whether it be ESPN, Met, DraftKings, whatever I'm going to use. Um, and you do it that way. Wow. And are there any like points set up or like not points like gambling points, but like, is is there anything like you're going to get a tote bag from DraftKings? Like a million yeah, bucks. Yeah, nice. they do. Yeah. The, no different than like going to Vegas. There's like hosts. And if you bet a lot, they'll give you little perks and shit like that. Absolutely. Nice. Yes. Definitely not so, worth a mail though. DraftKings. No, class. no, no, not even close. No, no, no. It never Definitely even, not. It's, yeah. It's, no. Um, it's nothing. All right, let's lost. move on to the Swifty world. Josh, you're a big Swifty, so we're we sure. are kumbaya on that. I gotta say, Josh Peck, because we Josh. Um, so this is a big story. Taylor Swift publicist called up Demois, Demois, 
Uh, DeMoss said she will die on the hill that Taylor Swift had a wedding ceremony with Joe Allen in 2020-2021 in the UK, but that was never made legal. Taylor is publicist. Tree Payne tweeted enough is enough with the fabricated lies about Taylor from DeMoss. There was never a marriage ceremony of any kind. It's time for DeMoss to be held accountable. So they're going back and forth on this. I don't like, and we've had the DeMoss lady on and i do like her and i've told this to her i don't think you can continually say things about people and not turn the proof of like just anonymous sources and they've done it to me a million times i know it's not true it's like well who said it show me the proof because i know it's not true and so i was like well we can't show you well because it's not fucking true so i believe till even though Demois is going on and on that this never that it's like she died on the sword that this happened, but you're just saying it. There's you're just saying it. Is there a part of it? Do you think because of Dumois, like because they are anonymous, that it's also like, like if they did have to print a retraction or they they were debunked, that they really don't take it on the chin because no one they don't have any fear of being hounded because no one knows who Dumois is. I mean, people know, but not really, right? It's right, not like, and. I, and I, they openly say they'll publish things that aren't true. Now, she's saying this is true, but like they do openly say not everything is true. Mm -hmm. right. So it's like a gossip site. It's a rumor mill. Now, she's digging her heels in on this one, which is interesting. Um, but again, it's like I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to the per if, if there's somebody saying this happened and somebody saying, no, it didn't. And the person who's saying, no, it didn't. It's like, show me, like, prove what you're saying. I will tend to agree with that person rather than ones like, you're just going to have to trust me. I have proof, but I can't show it. That's yeah, a little weird. Why not? Why Why can't she just, po just post the proof? It's not going to expose yeah. anyone, but the people you're already trying to essentially expose with the rumors. Yeah. And I don't really know what the big fucking whoop is. She said it wasn't an official ceremony. So I, like, who cares anyways? Yeah. And isn't there, what's the phrase, like the burden of like, isn't it the person the trying burden to of proof, Josh, yes. you almost got there. Thanks, baby. You got, you, you got right there. <laughs> I, I love you for that. We're right here. We're right here. But isn't, isn't that, there it? that thing the about burden proof, of proof, the burden of something? <laughs> <laughs> um, but isn't that it? Like, you don't have to prove that it didn't happen. You have to prove that it happened. Yeah. Innocent before guilty. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that, it, it, it's reverse in the media. It is absolutely Always worse been. in the media. Um, Speaking of, Dave, I that's just a wanna... whole lot of stuff there on Taylor. That was the big Taylor story. Trevor Z Zagras allegedly cheated on Dixie. We know Josh knows the truth. What's the truth, Josh? About Trevor Zegras cheating on Dixie? Yeah, I you know. The last time I was speaking with Dixie, they were all good. They were like, they were like kind of in like the pre stages. You know, this is Dumois again. They're saying they broke up. Oh my God! I don't even think they were ever fully dating. For my, from my, from my knowledge, you know. But um, it's be tough to keep like a hockey player under wraps. Too. I, I, I was, I was thinking that as well. The guy's traveling. He's like one of the youngest players that like that's getting all the attention. You know, I mean, it's Bedard now that's getting all the attention. But Zegers still, you know, he's uh, he was on the cover of NHL. Like so, yeah. he. He's in a lot of cities. He's probably going. So, and out you're with saying the they were never officially dating. I that's what I thought. I thought they were never officially dating. Now, ever since you know the whole like debacle with the reality you. show clip coming out, and like me and like everything, uh, the me and Josh, the, the other Josh. In case you have kept up, the reality show, the DeMeo said they hate Josh. Yeah, you? the parents did. Who could hate yeah. you? That's what I said. That's the most. Weird. Like, come on, where, come on. Where and are then they, they from Connecticut. That's the most like, like Long Island, Connecticut, Jersey family. Like we don't like yeah. that Josh Richards kid. And you're like, but why? My he didn't. You know what? He didn't take. His well, shoes he's off trying to he fuck my in. daughter. <laughs> yeah. No, that was basically <laughs> what it was. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, so yeah, we haven't been we haven't been as tight since then. Um, but yeah, hope you're doing well, Dixie. Oh, that's me too. I like Dixie, yeah, even yeah, though she yeah. won't come on the show. 
Tana Mojo clowns Matt Reif after Matt Reif was canceled last week. The H3 podcast director a clip from Tana Mojo podcast with Matt Reif where Tana roasts Matt Reif. How many times are you going to say Matt Reif? Mm-hmm. After Matt Reif was canceled last week, the H3 podcast director a clip from Tana Mojo's podcast with Matt Reif where Tana roasts Matt Reif. The clip has gone viral because Matt says people only hate people they're jealous of. And Tana responds by asking Matt if he thinks people are jealous of Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Did you see Ooh. this clip, Dave? No, I haven't. Oh, it's great. I mean, All right, let's see it. Yeah, yeah, you got to watch it. Yeah, because reading it's, it's crazy. So many fucking people hate me for really no reason. And it really made me realize that, like, people only hate somebody they're jealous of. Do you think people who hate Osama bin Laden are jealous of him? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. They're mad that he wasn't the one calling the shots. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I thought Matt Reif was playing around like, boom, he roasted me. Was he not? I think I think was, he was adding on to the joke, right? He was, yeah. I, I mean, think he knew, like, she was he, throwing he it back. He knew roast. Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, I don't think Tana was necessarily like roasting the shit out of him. I think she was like cracking well, a joke. She, right? she had Pretty like good. she threw like a, a ace of spades down. Like that's yeah. a good response. Oh, it was a great response. It really was a great good. response. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Weirdly, I agree with the principle of Matt Reif. A terrorist is a little different can of worms. But if somebody hasn't done a heinous uh, like crime against humanity, I do feel like a lot of hate is born out of like jealousy, jealousy. a little bit. But yep. how much, and Josh, you kind of had a similar ascension, right? Like Matt Reif, 16 months ago, mm. was a guy who no one knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's literally crushing it as hard as any would. Second only to maybe, I mean, the biggest comedians in the world, right? Yeah. At that point, do you go, yeah, I'm getting hate, but I'm also really handsome, 27, and the biggest fucking comedian in the world at this moment? Like, 100%. Do you, maybe you just don't even address it. Right? He think- handles it strangely. I've always, like, from the second I've become aware of how he deals with, like, his looks and whatnot, I, 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 I thought he's handled it a little bit strangely. I don't know how I would, but like you said, like who fucking cares? Right. Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, I think part of that is being really new to it, right? Like he, like Josh, you just said, like he was, not that he hasn't paid his dues or anything, but he wasn't big, you know, he was doing wild and out and he was like doing these sure. like things. And like, he was still, he was still working on comedy and still working on that like craft. But uh, I think he just blew up so quick and maybe it's like, Holy shit! I've never seen this level of a uh, like hate or love be thrown at me, and all these like tweets and opinions coming at me at once. So it's like sometimes he tries to crack jokes back, sometimes he handles it differently. I think he just hasn't really found his like consistent way of dealing with like the hate, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because they eventually you find kind of like your groove, like you know when someone's hating on Dave, how Dave's gonna respond to it. You know what I mean, Dave? You're gonna go and do like. You're going to beat them to the punch. You're going to do an emergency like little broadcast thing. Like you have your way of handling hate now. And that's like been something that you've developed. I feel like over, you know, your years of doing barstool and being on the internet. But like, I think he's just new to it. And so now he's like, he's a comedian. He's trying to be funny and come back with like funny shit. But I think at the same time, he's got to just not care. Like, bro, you are selling out massive shows right now. Oh my God. It's insane. And what he's dealing with. Maybe a little more unusual in the comedy world, but like I feel like musicians, actors, actresses, like the better looking you are, people will always be if the talent level may be lower, like you're you're benefiting from your looks. That sideline reporters with women always like that's a never ending thing. It's like, is it talent or is it look? So he just yeah. deals with the comedy space. Dave, a little bit. what I, I'm dying to know, what's your tipping point for when you decide to address something? I don't really know. I don't have an answer for that. Uh, it's just, it's like, if something bothers me all, all to the point where it's like, fuck this part. Like we talked about, um, the, 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 the girl, girl, the woman who, the it girl, like she was more room service. Let me breathe here. Hold on. It's tough at the four seasons. Oh yeah. Damn. I wonder when the last time Dave stayed at a Marriott courtyard. You know? Huh. Yeah. Um, last year, actually, and then he said never again. <laughs> <laughs> what about like um He doesn't do it every once in a while just to like humble himself? You know? What's the like kid menu people? though? Grilled cheese. This guy. Mm. Keeping it real. It's all cheese and um, bread with this kid. Yeah, <laughs> only cheese and bread. <laughs> That's it's pizza have cheese without and sauce, bread. Poppy. 
I'm going quick. It's like they brought the wrong food. The food was an hour late. So um, anyways. So you got a kid's menu grilled cheese instead? I love the kid's menu grilled cheeses. They're good. I love them. Yeah, they butter um, them up or what? Both sides? What? They butter up both sides? Yeah. That's yeah, great. Nice. Um, Like the it girl, she just bothered me. She wasn't big. Like, I could just let that go. She just fucking bothered me. So Who, who's like, the it girl? Right. Do you know who the it girl is? The girl who says we stole it girl from, there's a girl who uh, made a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. We had the, the this real brief, but we have like, we used to have a chick's Instagram account. And it just, it was an aggregate of funny female content, just videos, put it on our, the Instagram Chicks in the office, which is a brand of ours, were like, it's confusing people. People think this is us, and it's just like this, it, it's just a, a generic page for us, for Barstool. So, like, all right, we'll change the name of Chicks. And it came up with It Girl. No idea where it came from, like, who picked it. I think they went through 10 things that was available. Another girl in New York said, we stole It Girl from her. She invented It Girl. It was crazy. She called me a scumbag. And I went on a rant and eviscerated this girl. I don't know. Just bought, She caught me at the right moment. I, I was going through a breakup. It's mm. like I said in the beginning of the thing, it's like I'm in a bad mood. So I took it out on her. Yeah. Life is all timing. It really is. When people catch you in the, in the wrong place at the wrong time, not good. If I just won like my million dollar bet on Michigan and I saw that video, I want to give a fuck about it. Whatever. Go yeah. on, go about whatever. Right. Up. I'm uh, I'm, I'm one up. I'm one low blood sugar bout from getting canceled. Mm. Like if I <laughs> yeah, right. if I haven't had breakfast, it's gonna it's don't come for me. Yeah. Um the word of the year 2023 is Riz. Saw Christ. that. Added it to like I think the dictionary and everything. It's nuts. I, I I heard a lot. I mean, that doesn't shock me. No, what other word would what other word would you have put up besides Riz? <sighs> That's tough. That's cap. Tough. Cap, I think, was like a couple of years back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't have been right. this year's. Bussin. I think Bussin's yeah. been around, guys. That's, damn it, we're old. Think what about uh? But what is what's the etymology of Riz? Uh, charisma, I believe. Ooh, thank yes. you so much. Yes, 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 yes. I Dave blew I, a lot. Of, yeah, Dave blew a lot of people's minds when he said yeah, that. Yeah, that for was the first me. Time. That you just stole that from me. <laughs> Did I steal that from you? Yeah, I educated the BFFs on that. Did um, you educate me on that? Charisma. I think I did. You were on yeah, the show. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. No, I believe you. I believe you. I don't need to see the clip. I believe you. Did you know what Riz was short for? What is it short for? Charisma. Oh. I saw, I saw a comment. I actually, on I never knew what Riz like, meant. No I just was like, Risen. Yeah. Did you know no. that, Josh? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be up front with y'all. I did it. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. taught me something new. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I fucking did. did. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Shout out to Dave. <laughs> Nick Cannon reveals what costs to take 12 kids to Disney. Nick Cannon says between birthdays and holidays for his 12 kids, he estimates he spends about 200 grand a year taking his kids to Disney. I believe it. Disney's a fucking expensive ass place. It is. 12 kids is a lot of kids, too. A lot of kids. He's a pops lot of out. cotton candy. That's a lot of like pretzels, those turkey drumstick legs. And I'm Man. sure he's doing like lightning lines and shit. Uh, he could have fast pass galore. He could have spent yeah. like. Seven dollars and not have to worry about that two hundred K a year, just like a pack of condoms. No, he likes the kids though. Oh, okay, that's good. You then. don't keep popping those kids out, and that doesn't cross your mind. I, I like these fucking kids. I like Disney World. That's yeah, yeah, wild. yeah. You gotta like it to have twelve of them, right? I you have know. two and I can't imagine having a single one more. I have zero and I can't imagine having a single one. Mm. I, it's wild. But I'm surprised that I I'm surprised he's not getting hooked up by Disney. That he's not just getting free passes. Yeah, it's crazy. He's not going to post. I mean, granted, he's not going to be in like a four-hour line at the Matterhorn, right? Like he wants some special privileges. For sure, for sure. He wants like the VIP tour almost. Like you got to let him skip everything. My incredibly sad story about the VIP tour at Disney is I was on a Disney show, Turner and Hooch, Reboot King, Josh Peck here. My Great sixth movie. one. Shout out. So I played uh, 20 years later, TV's Tom Hanks. And uh, so we do the show and it's for Disney Plus and Disney so wonderfully is like, we'd love to give you, uh, as we give all our, our employees on our shows, 
10 tickets to Disneyland and a guide. And really okay. the tickets are so generous, but the guide is like the amazing part because they get you on the yep. front of the line. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lovely thing. So the show airs and it's like the final episode airs and we know we're going to get picked up within like the next month if we do. So I said to my wife, yo, let's take our son Max to Disney because I don't know if I'm going to be an employee of Disney for much longer. Right, right. Let's use these tickets while we can. So we go, we take my son and, and my wife and, and her best friend and their kids, uh, my mother-in-law. It's like a beautiful Norman Rockwell red letter day. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Later that night, downtown Disney, we're eating pizza. Beautiful. I get a text from the showrunner of Turner and Hooch. We're canceled. <laughs> I was like, oh my. Like, I see the guide slowly walk away. <laughs> I get booted out of downtown. So, shout out. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that one. Uh, Ruby Rose oh, met her top so OnlyFans spender. And it was the same guy who's on True Life. I'm addicted to porn. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. That adds up. That adds up. He spent something like $62,000 on her. In a calendar year? I, I believe in a 12-month period, yes. Wow. I've never been on OnlyFans. And I don't have any plans to do it. But I'm, I'm glad that it's it's good business for some people. Some people be making great bank, business dude. for a lot of people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What? Okay. Adidas versus Kevin Durant. After Kevin Durant tweeted saying we would never see him put his big toe in the, them motherfuckers referring to a pair of Adidas, the official Adidas Twitter account replied saying, you dusty better retire soon anyways, before quickly deleting their tweet. <laughs> I love the tweet from Adidas. I hate the delete. The delete. I was so pissed about the delete too. I was like, yo, he just roasted you guys. Get yeah. get your get back. Like It's a, right. it's fine. Who cares? He's not yeah. going to wear Adidas anyways. It's funny as Great no. tweet. It's great tweet, great advertising, good, like, that's great marketing. Great. Keep that shit going. That's like when Wendy's Twitter account goes off on, like, McDonald's or, like, Burger King. Yep. It's like, this is hilarious. Now I'm going to go eat at Wendy's. You know, like, yep. keep that shit alive. Also, Josh, you got to realize, if you don't get that sentence in quick, <laughs> Dave is going to move on to the next next thing. Oh, I, it's Josh I keeps trying to, off, Josh keeps, there's been, like, down. two or three sorry. times where <laughs> Josh is trying to get off. in. What do you got to say? The floor is yours, Josh Peck. I'm sorry. I did want to know, and I, 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 I was wondering, say the three of us were just, you know, not... We don't have the, the major success that I can say for all of us that we've had. We're just normal Joes. You get an offer to be on OnlyFans... It's not too illicit, but it's suggestive, the things that you're going to post on there. And you're going to make, like, what would what's the number for you to go, you know what? My neighbor might see this. My aunt might see this. Fuck it. How much are we making? How much are we making in this current scenario at before OnlyFans? What's Ooh. our set? What's our... That's a good question, too. Uh, you're making 60K a year. 60K? Double up. I'm on there. Really? For I don't give a fuck. I, I I could care less if people want to see my dick and they're gonna pay me money. That's gonna be oh, you're gonna go full dick pics too. <laughs> I'll, I'll, do do that we I'll, walk, I'll do anything. I don't care. Oh, yo, wow, wow, I'll do anything. Wow, I have no shame. What you, do I care? You don't. You don't. You don't. We're I, all like, guess what? It, it, all of us have the same parts. If I if someone wanted to pay me life changing money, I guess that's the way you gotta look at it. If you're making yeah. sixty and another sixty, that is life changing. Sure. Yeah. Tell me what I'm doing. I'm in. Okay. Wow. Huh. <laughs> Josh? Man, see, I was thinking I was thinking more in like the milli range. And please do it in Canadian dollars because we're assuming you're still in beautiful Ontario. You okay. remember though, if you're making 60, 60 like, yeah. Doubling is a lot. <sighs> and people are going to get over it. Like, yeah, you're going to get weird looks at the you PTA are. meetings the first couple of times. Yeah, yeah, But after yeah. a while, they'll be like, that's Look, Jr. He throws he, out he his throws wiener. His, yeah, he does a little helicopter and makes, yeah, makes a couple cool. bands. Like, he's, got, like, he's got tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, one-up yeah. you. Okay. I have a couple things out there that I'm not proud of, and I didn't get paid a fucking nickel for. No, you didn't. We were minutes away from creating my own OnlyFans. And being like, because people are like, blackmail. It's like, you know what? Here it is. It's on OnlyFans, and we're donating it all to charity. Oh, you like, were going to donate it, too? Yeah, but then wow. Penn got involved. They're like, I don't know if you want, like, Dave is kind of on the face of the company to have an OnlyFans with, like, graphic uh, material. But, so. Always the big corporation's so not this letting is us fuck. Yeah, they're huh? trying to keep it down. The big corporation's not letting us get down and dirty. Because you fuck. You animalistic. You sent a couple suggestive pics 
to yeah, sample? Yeah, I, I have a, a catalog. <laughs> That's amazing that you're doing it with full understanding that you're a very notable famous <laughs> Isn't person. It? Well, no, it's a lot of it was so old. It was before kind of like I, I, I became as notable. So gotcha. it was old stuff was for the most part resurfacing. So mm. it's like Boston Dave, about 10 more pounds on you, not the Miami tan. Like yeah. you, maybe you don't want to yeah. let those out. Yeah, they were already out. I didn't care. Like I honestly don't care. It's like whatever. I, I it, it. No, but, that's that's what you were gonna donate to charity, though. You could have like. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do it. Money. Something. And cool. by the way, I don't know that anybody would have like bought. It was more like people blackmailing. It's like I don't fucking care. Uh, like, Dave, the only I think thing I've said this many times. Bought. I think I think people would have bought that man. I think you. I care surprised. about uh, if there's another person, a, a girl in there. I care very much because that people wow. are trying to get at me. Mm, that's mm. where the major thing yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah like look at um conf what's her name corinna Chris, corinna like i i don't know what she does in only fans i'm under the impression she's pretty graphic i don't think people like view her i view her as like a wildly successful businesswoman yeah 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 i know what you mean but i think yeah no i agree i agree it would have been i think it still would have been cool to do the like Fuck for freedom or fuck for sick kids or whatever you were going to do. That would have been. Yeah, yeah. That would have maybe been nice. one day if the, maybe I'm back in control of the company. You're back in control yeah. of the big corporation. No one's keeping out. you down. No one's yeah. keeping you down no longer. I got the last laugh on you, Penn. Here's my OnlyFans. <laughs> um, Dua Lapia is single. Okay. Shout out. Just letting us know, good I guess. Her. Good for Dua. Yeah, good for her. I'm sure she'll do great. Very attractive woman. Um, Bradley Cooper said Super Bowl Oscar. He answered Super Bowl. I'm calling bullshit. I think he'd take Oscar. But it is a, if you're a Philly person, that is how you have to answer the question. Yeah. Yeah. You got to pick, I guess, the Super Bowl. But that's Super crazy. Bowl. Would you rather your favorite yeah. team in your favorite sport win a championship or win an Oscar? Fuck them. Right? Yeah. yeah. You don't play everybody. on the team? You kidding me? You don't play on the so team? So that the LA Kings can win the Stanley <laughs> Cup? People, are you nuts? What, 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 what I got to do with Anze Kopitar? It's fucking all day. No way, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even get, you're not going to get anything from it. You're going to get some cheers, you know. The city's going to have a good time. Philly is such a rabid fan base. That I, it is. I, might, it is. I would say, and this is taking nothing away from Bradley, but I would say I just don't think it's his year as it's, you know, for years it wasn't Leo DiCaprio's year. I don't think it's his year. I, I don't mean to, I, I think it should be Killian's year. Um, mm. And so I think that was an easy answer for him because he's like, ah, I think this one might not be, it might not be my time quite yet. So yeah. let me give Philly the shout out to love me forever for it. Have right, you seen right. the movie? I uh, have. I heard, but I've, I've heard incredible things. I mean, he's and he directed it. He's unbelievable. Roback activewear. It's holiday season. Roback's back. The dog on the front, the stripes in the back. Love Roback. Polos, hoodies, Q-zips. Their gear is fantastic. Incredibly comfort. Best feel, best fit. The exciting news is there isn't a better gift than Roback. Roback's performance hoodies are the most comfortable hoodies out there. Best way to start your day is with Roback hoodie. They're so soft, you'll want to wear them commando. That's naked. Um, Roback's performance jobbers are next level. They have smooth fabric that moves with you, keeps you comfortable. They also expand their awesome women's line. Roback's new performance hoodie and jogger sets are incredible. So soft, you can't take them off. Made with signature V-Soft fabric, these hoodie and jogger sets are the definition of cozy. The best part about wearing a Roback is when you see someone rocking that dog logo or the two stripes in the back, give them that subtle nod because you know they get it. So go to Roback for the holidays. Use the code BFF for 20% off your first order through the end of the week. That's R H O B A C K dot com. 20% off all performance hoodies, polos, joggers, women's gear, just in time for the holidays. BFF's corner to end the show. Mm. Um, the Spotify wraps, which everyone posts. Yeah. Uh, mine, I, I, mine was no surprise to anybody. My number one is Jimmy Buffett. Uh, my number two was Taylor Swift. Buffett obviously passed this year. Uh, so I was listening to that. Still is. That's pretty much all I listened to lately, those two people. What were what were you guys? I had Drake number one. Of course. Um, I had Boogie number two, I believe. I had that the Boogie with the hoodie guy? Yeah, yeah. That was that was good, Dave. I'm impressed. I, um, yeah, I'm keeping up. <laughs> uh actually, yeah, I think it might have been Juice World flipped with that for two and three. But those were the top three. And then it was, I think it was Zach Bryan, number four. 
Shout out to Zach. I um, always think it's strange. I see so many people being like Zach Ryan number one. I always am like, that's weird. I I I could I almost felt like I couldn't post my Spotify rap yeah. because I'm like, Zach Bryan is my one of my best friends' boyfriends. Like, and you I know him now. He's like the like, homie. I, yeah, I die to meet Zach Bryan and all this stuff. It's like, oh, it's just weird because it's, it's three. Yeah, yeah, I know. So it's like, <laughs> do I do I post? Ah, I just won't post it this year. Whatever, yeah. whatever. But yeah, he's and then, so big. He's so it's, it's like, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Crazy. Dude, like that's why in, Bree's like, all right, I'll peace out. I'll see you guys in Australia. Like, yeah, here's Josh Peck. Yeah, Deal she's like, oh, I'm so, <laughs> I really I'm love so being here. <laughs> uh, uh, that's what funny. about you? Did you? What was yours, Josh? It's Do you pathetic because it? I just had a, a baby last year, so it's literally we play. I play jazz music for him because, of course, I'm like that dad that heard that it like opens yeah. brain pathways, mm. like complex music. So it was like Coltrane one, Baby Shark two. It's gross. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> uh, Josh, you were on crutches. What happened? Yeah, so um, I, you know, I guess I I had a little bit too much fun in Cabo. You know, a little bit of drinks were flowing, and uh, I don't actually remember at which point I hurt my foot. I don't know when it was. I think it was during volleyball. We were playing on some turf. Turf is terrible. I hate turf. Um, but I guess I landed weird because I remember walking after the game, just you know, with a little limp. And it kept growing, pain kept growing. Went and played like 18 holes of golf with my dad. And I was just, I was talking to him. I was like, man, like this foot is irritating me. And he was like, well, it can't be that bad. You're playing golf on it. Like, you know, drink a beer. So I was like, all right, fair enough. And so uh, I went to a tendon specialist then like four, four days after that. Uh, he was like, you got to get an MRI right now. Turns out I, uh, I broke my foot in two spots. So I broke my ankle wow. and I broke my heel as well. And not even know that's wild. Yeah, yeah. But so how long are you on the crutches for? Um, he it should be crutches for four weeks. Um, and then I will be able to walk in this boot after that for another like four weeks, and then I'll be good. Most importantly, you get any PKs, painkillers. You know how it is. I I do know how it is, but I didn't. They didn't give me anything. That's, I know, right? That's a shame. Yeah, but it was way better. I was actually really happy about my foot being broken because I thought. When they a tendon specialist first felt it, he said I could have torn my Achilles. So that was like that's surgery. That's like six month recovery. Bad. That's the worst injury, like one of the worst injuries to get. So I was pretty happy actually when he came back and was like, "You broke uh, your foot in two places." I was yes, because I thought I was going to be out for like six months, not being able to do anything, looped up on like parks or whatever. It was going to suck. Um, is Rogers coming back? I I. I I'd be very surprised because, like, what's the point? They're they're not they're out of it. So right. why? Like, if maybe they hung around, he was hinting, but it uh, I I'd be stunned. I'd be stunned. They would have needed um, to win a couple more games. Yeah, Josh's new movie out, Dream Scenario with uh, A twenty four is out now mm. uh, with Nicolas Cage. I may save that. I may watch that and then come back to you. Um, get a review on that. Okay. Yeah, this I actually this is for Josh Peck. And you may not know the answer. So the movie Dumb Money. Yes. I was in it. Oh, word? I auditioned and, for it. What's that? I auditioned for it. Well, I was I got a part, but well, I didn't audition for it. This is not fair. Dave yes. didn't even actually get to really say yes to his part, though. It was just So I, during the, movie. the whole GameStop thing, like, I was very vocal about it. And I ended up, like... I was on, I was on like CNBC or whatever. And then at one point though, I also, I think at the first interview with Vlad Tenoff from, um, Robin Hood, Robin Hood. Yeah. And it was like a split screen and I was just grilling. Them. I'm like, no one trusts you. You're a snake. So what they did is they took the actual interview and put the character who played Vlad like over. So it was the real interview, but instead of me talking to Vlad, I was speaking to the character who played Vlad. No one asked me. That's you crazy. can just do that. No, oh, here it is. No way. I think he's a rat, a liar. Okay, Vlad. You know everybody here is watching this. So, guy, in right? reality, it was actually Vlad. That's the actor. Sure. That's that's bugged out. Hit him. Go get him, Dave. Come well, on. Well, no, I'm like this my ego. Action. I love it. No, <laughs> you love it. That was the actual. Yeah, I, I fucking love it. But I'm still curious. 
Like, I'm not a sue guy because I was actually happy I was in the movie. But I am surprised. Like, could I sue? I'm not going to, but could I? What was it on? Was it on a Barstool channel or was it on, like, CNBC? Like, who owns No, it was, it was ours. Oh, then, yeah. They're, they can't just take your content. Yeah, they took my content. That's wild. No, they, it can't be. Was that? Well, yeah, they did. It was that specific clip repurposed on any other site so that they like, is there some weird subsidiary that, that gained no. the rights to it? No. Then no, I, it was a, we set up, well, we set up a live stream. I don't know what technology we use, but it was literally like on our website. That's that's wild. it. But most importantly, now you have a credit on IMDb. So monster, correct. It, right. I, I'm not, some people may sue, like we get sued for ridiculous shit. It's like, listen, if I'm happy, I'm not going to sue you. Like, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, it's pretty cool to be. It is bad. crazy though movie. that they like open themselves up to that. If I, unless I don't understand the law or the rule, but no one, I no one even told me. It's just like, oh, I'm in the movie. That's crazy that no one was just like, hey, we're throwing you in this. Yeah, no, it's not. So I, I got invited to like a premiere. They're like, you're in it. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm in it. That's so crazy. Did yeah. you like the movie? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I thought it went a little quick. Like I was so involved in it or following it. Like I wanted almost more explanation, but I was good. It was a good movie. It's like 84 tomato. Um, okay. Okay. This, this, this video I made, Josh, I don't know if you saw it. You probably love it. Um, it went viral. I was walking in Miami and a guy handed, <laughs> I saw this guy handed me an under five pen card. <laughs> He's like, hey, we got like clothing from five ten under people. First of all, I'm five ten and a half, but what a fucking day killer that is. Oh, a card like that. That's tough, man. That's tough. There is a store actually near my house that's like an under five ten. Uh, Maybe it's for the men. same people. It could be. It could be. That's. I actually drive by it every once in a while and think of you. One. The guy who handed it me was full. Of one. I was looking down like you're gonna give me a card. You tried to sun him a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. Like, buddy, I'm five ten and a half. Yeah. Um, you tell him, Dave. That's all we got. Uh surviving bar stool. Well, yeah, I had another conscious. So surviving bar, we do at bar like Survivor, their show, we do our own version of it. Uh hundred grand to the winner. It's like the best thing that we've done. We aired this season three specifically is the best thing that you guys have done. Who this what? season? Like this season specifically yeah, yes. is the best that you guys have done. Right. So it's we not, did three yeah. episodes, and then YouTube was like, "You got to edit it because one guy threatened to blow up another guy's house." I mean, we have crazy people, and <laughs> I, I was like, "I'm not fucking editing a reality show. It's crazy." So we pulled it off YouTube. Put it on pay per view, which infuriated a lot of people. Um, but what are you gonna do? If you want to watch, it's nine ninety nine for the season. So, yeah, it's just you got to make money for the somehow for the yeah. show. Yeah, YouTube was your, you know, the and monetization the on YouTube was the yeah. We're doing like five hundred, six hundred thousand views on YouTube. It's like oh, yeah. on the show picking up steam, but it, oh it, yeah, it, it, it would have been like a milli view episode. Yeah, uh, like Kinda probably sucks. a thing after. I would say like two months. I bet you would be a million views every single episode. Josh Peck, we really do appreciate. I was yeah, awesome. I'm, I, I appreciate being on. Always good guest. Thank you. Um, anything you got to promote that we haven't said? Uh, good guys podcast. Hell Check yeah. it out Mondays. It's a great podcast. Had Josh. Yep. Free. Hopefully, he'll come on. Dave, you're always welcome. Love you. All Thank right. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, guys. See ya.